Let's go cars. 98.7 WFGR. It is 816. Andy O and Dave Cackley, West River Storage Suites, bringing you a quick check of traffic. Dave, what's going on? I uh, still have that accident southbound 131 near Ann Street. That's partially blocking. I'll look out for backups all the way to Comstock Park, a Chicago Drive at Wilson and Granville. Two-car crash there. Should just about be out of your way. Uh, the uh, Leonard on-ramp to northbound 131. That, that remains closed through the end of the month. That's traffic on 98.7 WFGR. Look over next thing you know. Whoa! T- TV star. Uh, Dude, look over there. That's that guy on TV. I've seen him. done that thing on the TV. He was on the TV show over there that day. <laughs> Randy, yeah. uh, what's, oh yeah, Finch. <laughs> Mr. The Iceberg. The guy whose yeah. last name I forgot. It's getting ready for where are they now. <laughs> look uh, at you, man. How are you? <laughs> Great. How about yourself? Let's talk, well, Randy Finch, uh, Ice Brigade fame, and you're all around town doing ice right. sculptures and all that kind of stuff. How are you? Great. Yeah? Great. Having fun. Excited yeah? about our prize being here. Big, well, you're kind Absolutely. of an artist. That's right. I love it. Yeah. We were involved in it. We've been involved in it since the beginning. Did the first couple of years. Top yeah. 25 first year. Mm-hmm. And uh, now this year we're spectating. Yeah. So, yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. Gearing up for next year or something? You got a yeah. little something surprised coming up next year? Or? Yeah. I mean, we, we've talked about a few different ideas and, and different stuff. We've done ice every year. So, uh, next year we might be doing something a little bit different. So. That's awesome. Are you, still, uh, are you still doing the TV shows and all that? I do uh, a little bit of stuff. A series is done, but uh, we did a cameo uh, on The Shed, which is okay. on the Food Network, right. uh, barbecue place down in Mississippi, and did a, a day down there, did an ice carving of a pig for a wedding. Nice. <laughs> a barbecue wedding. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how long that le- wedding lasts. But uh... <laughs> Hey, you know. Hey, look, it's the groom. He's carved out of <laughs> ice. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, not off to a good start. <laughs> the groom chose the pig ice sculpture. So. Oh, Over the years, you've, you've done these different sculptures here and there. And I mean, some of them have been for competitions. Some of yeah. them have been for private functions. What the, what are the ice sculptures you've done over the years that stand out the most? Uh, you know, uh, I think like the Ferris wheel uh, we did, and then the mouse trap game. We did the whole mouse trap game. Yep. We had all the different mm-hmm. components and stuff for Discovery Channel for a show. Uh, that was probably the most intricate piece that we've done. Yeah. Um, but you know, I just I like the wild stuff. I like the the crazy things that the client comes to me and says, "Hey, can you do?" You know, we did the you know the Da Vinci horse uh, yep. at the. Uh, my Garden. gardens, yeah, yep. we did that as a luge okay. one time where you you poured it in its head and it flowed out its butt. <laughs> <laughs> ice shots, that's, yeah. cl- <laughs> that's classy. You're doing yeah. ice shots out of Da Vinci's horse's <laughs> ass. Oh, you're not doing Kahlua shots. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> then so, you did the uh, you did the big Star Wars thing, the Han Solo. That's thing. right. Yeah, frozen Han Solo, frozen carbonite. Uh, one of our favorite episodes yep. that we did mm-hmm. there. Uh, you know, and think just, just let's just stop for a second because you did that out in Muskegon. Yeah. You had the Han Solo frozen and carbonite mm-hmm. thing. I was there because it right. was Star Wars night at the Lumberjacks game. And I got to be honest with you, you, you didn't get me in the show. <laughs> hey, uh, he, 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 uh, yeah, I t voted the whole thing, and I'm looking for myself. You know, I, dude, I'm giving away co- coupons and you know prizes yeah. up in the stands. Right. That's kind of an elemental part of the game. Did, yes, it is. Did you see who you were competing with, though? You had Darth Vader, Stormtroopers. Yeah, no, they're all kind I mean, of I mean, those guys deal. were decked out. They, that's something else to so see, one isn't guy, it? One, guy, one of the guys actually was in a wheelchair, and he had the whole thing decked out. Oh, yeah. I mean, just these guys are awesome yeah, with the, the decorations the, that they Whatever do. garrison they call themselves. Yeah. It's 501st. 501st, not that's right. Not that right. you would know. Not that you would know. Of course not. <laughs> no, you have, yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you're not doing art prize this year. <laughs> yeah. You're spectating. Mm-hmm. Yep. You you must be down here for something. Yeah. Well, you know, my, my Sunday opened up since uh – Grand Valley got rid of their swing naked on a wrecking ball Sunday. Oh, yeah, that's. So, I mean, that was your thing. <laughs> I was planning on doing that. <laughs> now, so now I had to get. Dressed. Now you had free time. Uh, yeah, and so we're doing a brunch. Uh, it's a benefit brunch this Sunday. Uh, chef Mark Mark Nozita was the chef that opened up Twist, Twisted Rooster, Crooked Goose, and uh, he was a culinary instructor at one time mm-hmm. at the CIA in New York. And he passed away, age 35. Ooh, just oh, really geez. What happened? Worked himself to death, literally. Oh, I mean, my God. Uh, working 22 hours a day. Oh, you know, man. Just worked so hard. And, and uh, they know that happens sometimes. Yeah, you know, right. Your heart gives out. So, anyways, we wanted to set up a scholarship fund in his name. So that students can, you know, apply for the scholarship, maybe take a little pressure off them so they don't have to work as much while right. they're going to school and uh, kind of get give him a legacy because we think he was just too young and he didn't get to do everything he wanted to do. So we want to help him out doing that. Where is the scholarship going to be held? The scholarship fund is going to be for culinary students at the GRCC. And, okay. and the dinner or the brunch is actually this Sunday at Amore Trattoria uh, up on uh, Alpine. 
Yeah, Comstock Park area yes, up there. Right. Yeah, okay. Awesome food there. Yeah. And it's a number of all the top restaurants in town are getting together and putting together food. So, like, The Grove is doing a dessert. Tommy Fitzgerald's involved in it. I'm doing some stuff. I'm actually cooking uh, some stuff, uh, doing some desserts and fruit displays, fruit carvings. Uh, Jenna from Amore is doing some mm-hmm. wonderful food. Wow. Uh, Mia and Grace is doing some food. And then we've got a, a silent auction with tons of stuff. We've got, a, like, a... Uh, Tickets for four, and you get to ride the Zamboni at a Ooh. Griffins game. Oh, that's cool. You know, during the game. Who doesn't want oh, to ride I've, the Zamboni? I've, done, I've been able to do that. Have you? That is so much fun. How not at a Griffins game. This is down in Kalamazoo. But that is so much fun. Wow. Oh, I can just God. see you riding on a Zamboni. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Look at me. Yippee I guy my hair. <laughs> so there's, yeah, there's a great, a tons, like 40 some different packages. We've got a limo ride from, uh, from uh, Applause Limo. Nice. Uh, we've got dinner at, uh, dinner for two at uh, uh, a lot of different restaurants around town. Four different casinos with vacation packages. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Four Wins Casino has got like a $350 package they're given uh, for the auction. So, nice. So really great deals. And it's only $25 a person, which you can't even have dinner there for $25. Right. So, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about uh, your ice sculptures now. Did yeah. you, do you have a culinary background? And I you do. just it, it talk and yeah, what, how did you get started? What what got you interested in that as a young person? Well, you know, I, I <clears throat> kind of washed out of porn at an early age, <laughs> so I had to find something else. And yeah, me too. Culinary yeah. was a natural progression, so uh, <laughs> that's where old chefs go to die. Of course. And uh, oh, that was a nasty vision that just got in my head of Ramsey and porn. Oh, but anyways, man. so I, I went to culinary school. I was kind of a you know, growing up, I was cook, dishwasher, that right. kind of stuff. Sure. And then I got a job uh, at, a, at a hotel one time. I'm like, wow, I could do this as a career. Yeah. yeah. These guys are doing great stuff mm-hmm. and, and making a decent living. So I went to culinary school, uh, and I had already had an ice carving background. I carved mm-hmm. ice before I went to culinary school, so that was kind of my niche yeah. in culinary. And then the chef at the Grand Plaza that, at that time was a master chef whose specialty was ice sculpting. Wow. So I came out here to work for him, and I'm like, wow, West Michigan. And I just loved West Michigan. And here you are. And, yeah, I, well, I, I worked everywhere there was to work. And, and one of the reasons we started our business was just to find a way to stay in West Michigan. Good for uh, you. Right. I, you know, at that time, the restaurants were not like they are now. There no. There's not that uh, many restaurants. There's no. awesome places now. So I said, hey, start our own business, start doing ice. And um, they say if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. And I kind of went overboard with it. I right. guess so. And that's it. So... And then I got. I said, "Well, let's get a TV show." And then we Might did a TV well. show. And, you know, <laughs> so. Why don't why I just get a TV show? I'm going to call this guy. You know what? Because I, I keep emailing those guys at Discovery, going, "You know, you could use an announcer on some of these shows that sound a lot like me." I don't get through. What's your secret? Yeah. How do you do it? You know, I, I money bribes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Show a little leg. Yeah, there you see. That's the thing. You're not showing enough uh, pasty white Irish thigh. <laughs> it goes that a long is way. what. There you go. Whoa! Look at that. Look at those cankles. Uh, uh, shut up. Be <laughs> still, my heart. Look at those cankles. I got nice ankles. Look at my well, ankles. My ankles are fine. Well, anyway, let's talk a little bit more. Well, yeah. give us one more plug for the benefit, which yeah, is coming this up Sunday, uh, this Sunday. This Sunday, Trattoria, twenty five dollars a head. Uh, there's you, tickets are online. Yep. You go to br- uh, Brown Paper Bag or Brown Paper Ticket. Yep. BrownPaperTicket.com, uh, search for local events. Chef uh, Mark Nozita Scholarship Fund, uh, 25 bucks a head, and tons of great deals on scholarship items and food from all over the best chefs around uh, Michigan. Sounds like a great way to spend a Sunday. Good yeah. deal. Think and Bloody Mary or two is in order? Yeah. What's that? Think they'll have a Bloody Mary or two going oh, up yeah. on yeah. three Bloody or Mary six? <laughs> kicking big time. So. It's, yeah, Bloody Mary, it's Sunday. That's so those are those are okay on Sundays. That's well, right. yeah, That's I mean, as long as you put, like, mimosas, you know. Yeah. Drinking right. on Sunday's not bad, but if you add orange juice, somehow it's right. okay. Exactly. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's right. You're it's getting okay. your vitamin C. Yes. Randy Finch, man, thanks for stopping in. Hey, thanks for having me. Best of luck, and uh, holler if we can give you a hand again. Yeah. All right, there he goes. Randy Finch, we'll put all this up online at WFGR.com. Momentarily, you'll find the link. You get your tickets. You can go benefit the Mark Nozita Culinary Scholarship Fund at the Sekia. See? Yeah. Got to throw good. that plug in there, too. Institute. Sekia Institute at GRCC. Thanks again, Randy. Thank you.